Okay folks, in this video, we're gonna show you how to use G-Power. First, go to your applications window. Once G-Power is open, the next thing you need to think about is the test family. You'll see, if you click the drop-down menu, that you have a number of different families of G-Power analyses. First would be F-Tests, second would be T-Tests, third would be the Chi-Squared analyses, and fourth would be the Z-Tests. For all intents and purposes right now, let's go with T-Tests. The next thing to do is to focus on the statistical test. So once we've chosen the T family, the next thing we wanna do is pick the kind of T test. So in this case, we're focusing on the one sample T test. We're gonna go with the difference from a constant or a one sample case. Under types of power analysis, you'll see that we have a priori, compromise, criterion, post hoc, and sensitivity. We're gonna go with a priori because we wanna know what is the sample size needed to conduct this kind of a study. We then have to go into the input parameters box here. We could see that we can choose either a one or a two tail test. If we're not sure of the direction, always go two tail. We'll leave the effect size alone. We'll make sure that our alpha is always set to P less than 0.05. And we'll make sure that our power threshold is always set to 80%. So we'll have to change that. Once performed, go ahead and click calculate and you'll see you have 34 participants. So you need 34 participants in order to conduct a one sample t-test. Hope this video is helpful. See you in the next one.